What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Red Yoshi from Super Mario. Let's begin today's lesson over on the left side of the page and draw a large circle for the muzzle, but we're gonna leave a gap on the right side. So let's start up here. We're gonna go all the way around towards the top. Come down the left side, around the bottom, and we'll just bend that up. Let's close off the bottom with a curve for the cheek. We're gonna come down and then out. Let's go up to the top. We're just gonna fold the cheek. So we step up, curve up, and then over towards the right. And we'll place the eye in behind. So let's start up here. We're gonna draw a half oval. We're gonna go up towards the top of the eye, come around, and just tuck that in behind the cheek. Let's add another one in behind. So we're gonna start up here, going up, around, and then down. Now on the left side of the right eye, we're gonna draw a small oval for the pupil. We'll move over and draw another one. We're just gonna tuck this in behind the top of the muzzle and we'll fill the pupils in black. On the top left side, let's draw two curves for the nostrils. So we'll start with the one on the left, coming in and then down. Let's leave a gap and do one more. Let's draw the top of the brow. We're starting on the outside of the eye. We're gonna go up, bend that down in between the eyes, go up, go around the side, and we'll bring that down. Let's round out the cheek. We're gonna go out, come all the way around, and we'll bend that in. Let's leave a gap, go out and up on the left. Let's add a trim along the cheek. We're gonna start up here, we're gonna go up, and then bend that out. Now we're gonna add some bumps along the side of the head. Let's start in between the eye and the cheek. We're gonna go up and then in. Leave a gap and draw another one. We're gonna go out and in. Step down and draw one more. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw the back going out towards the tail. We're gonna start underneath the cheek. We're gonna come straight down, round up the back, and then bend that up. Let's go back to the inside and draw the front arm. We start by curving this down and then over towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we draw a half circle for the thumb, close off the bottom with a bracket. Let's add those three fingers. We're gonna start from the left side of the thumb. We're gonna go around the bracket and bend that in, step down, add the second finger, and then the third finger, we're gonna go around and then up towards the wrist. Now I'm gonna create a fold across the wrist. So we're gonna step down, bend the back of the arm, coming out and then up. Let's go back up underneath the chin and draw the front of the body. We're gonna bend this out, in behind the hand. Continue down underneath the fingers. We're gonna come down and then across. Now I'm gonna layer the thigh on top of the body. So we're gonna step up, curve around, come down toward the bottom of the leg, come up towards the back and then in. Now you want to continue this curve on the right side of the leg. We're going to go out and just taper up towards the end of the tail. Now I want to go back and add a trim across the body. Let's start from the bottom of the cheek, go in behind the arm, continue down in towards the leg, and then taper out towards the back. Let's go back and layer the left hand in behind. We're going to start up here, start with the thumb. We're going to go up, come down, and curl up the thumb. Then we'll add three fingers, starting from the side of the thumb. We're gonna draw an oval, going all the way around and up underneath the thumb. Add another one, going up. And then we'll do that one more time. From that bottom finger, we're just gonna curve the palm, coming down and then up. Now we're gonna go back and add a thick cuff around the bottom of the leg. Let's start on the left side. We're gonna go around the bottom, go up on the right, and then back in. Let's go to the right side and draw the heel, bending this out and then down. Let's add a small curve coming across the bottom of the heel. And then we'll add a longer curve going out towards the front of the foot. Now from here we draw the top of the foot. We're gonna go around, go up, in towards the cuff, and then bend that down. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. So we're gonna trace these two curves along the top. So we'll start from the left, going up and then out towards the heel. 
Let's layer the back foot in behind. So we're gonna start with that cuff. We're gonna start underneath the body, come around, and then in. Let's go to the left side of the cuff, draw the top of the foot, we're gonna go up and then down. Curve the foot back in, and then we'll add a thick sole along the bottom. Let's place the shell across the back. We're gonna start just underneath the head. We bend this around, come down, and then up. Let's bend the back of the shell trim. Now we're gonna draw the top of the shell with a curve. We're gonna go up and in, and then sign your art and add a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how I draw Red Yoshi from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also check out our other channels. I'll leave the links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.